the United States student loan debt reached $1.2 trillion in 2014. College students should not have to carry such a massive debt to gain education. $1.2 trillion is a burden not only on college students, but the U.S. economy as well. A free college education would allow equality as well as an opportunity for society. Citizens should not have to be in debt upon graduation. They should be able to focus on their future debt-free in order to be successful citizens. The average student pays approximately $22,000 per year on education costs. If a student remains in school the full four years to complete their education, the total cost would be around $88,000. The $88,000 does not include the interest rate that these debts incur once the student has graduated. The approximate payout would be about $147,000, turning the student loan debt into a long-term repayment plan. The interest rate on a student loan is higher than the interest rate on a new car, which makes no sense, thus burdening a student from, for many years and prohibiting them from saving money for the future and delaying young adults from getting married, having children, buying a house, etc. For those graduates, the repayment could take 15 years or more, depending on loan debts. Student loan debt after four years impacts whether or not a student decides to continue getting their master's. Therefore, students ought to change their career paths. Grades kindergarten through 12th grade is a universal free public education in the United States. Why shouldn't college be accessible the same way? We should not be discouraging students, young or old, from wanting to further their education. Bernie Sanders made an interesting claim, saying that college would be, began quote, fully paid for by imposing a tax on Wall Street speculators, end quote, Bernie 2016. There are other countries that have imposed a similar tax to support upper education for their citizens. This proposal would be a good stepping stone for funding a free college education. Another solution would be for the government to subsidize public college tuition. According to Bryce Coburn from thinkprocess.org, public college tuition was $62.6 billion in 2012, and that was less than the amount the government spends on tax breaks, grants, and work-study, amounting to approximately $69 billion. The government spent, began quote, another $107.4 billion on student loans, end quote, covert 2014. This shows that the government spends too much money trying to make it affordable for students when in fact they could make college education free. There are those that would say not everyone needs a free tuition. To respond to this argument, I would say shouldn't education be a part of the American dream, providing opportunity and equality in society. By providing free tuition, we would be supporting students of all means and opportunity to succeed without weighing them down with the pressures of student loan debt. Students would then feel that pursuing a higher education is worth the effort and the time instead of feeling that college is not worth the price. Student loan debt is now higher than credit card debt, proving that it is unscapable and ruinous, weighing down the entire economy and the holder of the loan. In conclusion, if the United States government made college accessible for free, like they have for public schools in the United States, they would be participants in allowing all citizens the opportunity for prosperity. This would allow for citizens to get better jobs, which avoids higher unemployment rates, as well as providing skilled workers. When college is free, students form more small businesses, as well as allowing for innovation and entrepreneurship.